Sitting round the campfire singing songs of yore Playing till my fingers are sore cause they always want one more Yeah, we're sitting around the campfire singing songs of yore Playing till my fingers are sore on the campfire troubadour A good day to you fine gentlemen and ladies. Thank you for joining me today for a wee bit of singing and a wee history lesson. Now they call me two wives, the campfire troubadour, singing songs of yore and songs about yore. Now what I'd like to sing for you today is a song many of us know called Shenandoah. This song originated as a folk song among French Canadian voyageurs who traded with the Native Americans around the Great Lakes area starting in the mid 18th century. Now the name Shenandoah refers to a Native American born in 1706 into the Susquehannock tribe. He grew to a height of six foot five inches tall and was later elected chief of the Oneida Iroquois tribe. Now Chief Shenandoah was a friend of Benjamin Franklin and he also helped save General Washington's troops at Valley Forge by giving them corn. This led to George Washington naming the Shen Shenandoah River in Virginia after him. Now, Chief Shenandoah also led 250 warriors against the British in the Revolutionary War. Anyway, way back in 1756 to 1763, the Oneida supported the English against the French in the Seven Years' War, which was known as the French and Indian War here in America, which is why the chief forbade the love between his daughter and a French voyageur. Now, he was later known as John Skendoa after being baptized, and he died in 1816. In the song, the name of Shenandoah is used to refer to both the chief and to his daughter, which does to lead to a wee bit of confusion. The chief actually had three daughters, Margaret, Mary, and Jane, and we don't know to which daughter the song refers. Now, originally a popular folk song, it became a popular canoe paddling shanty of the French voyageurs and the American mountain men. By the mid 19th century, Shenandoah had later become one of the most popular capstan and pump shanties. Now, pump shanties were sung when pumping out the bilge. Now, by the 20th century, Shenandoah had once again become a folk song. Indeed, it's one of America's most recognizable songs, and it was voted one of the top 100 songs of all time. It is also one of the most recorded songs in American history. And now, Shenandoah. No 
ocean sweet my canoe is laden thank you for joining me today for a wee bit of singing and a wee history lesson. Mayhap, you even just learned a little bit today. Until we meet again, I remain two wives, the Campfire Troubadour, your humble servant. <laughs>